Hey problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm gonna to go over how to build a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. What we're gonna do is we have a tangram puzzle right here. We're gonna find the measurements of all seven pieces. We're gonna put those uh, measurements in single cells in a spreadsheet. And then we're gonna find the area of the parts. We're gonna find the perimeter of the parts. All of that'll be different cells. And then I'll show you how to do the calculations to find area and use equations before we get started, go ahead and make sure your pieces are numbered this way. Your large triangles one, two, small triangle three, square four, small triangle five, six, parallelogram seven, medium triangle. So kind of going around that way. All right, and then now I'm going to go ahead and um, screenshot my Google Sheet spreadsheet and how to build a spreadsheet. Okay, I'm in Google. First thing I'm going to do is go up here and log in under my name, and then I'm going to open up a Google Sheet. I'm going to start with a blank sheet, and then the first thing I want to do there is I want to title it Tangram Puzzle Pieces, and then I want to go over to my share, and I'd share it with everybody within the district. You don't, Please do not include my email on that. Um, you're going to turn this in with the whole project. Going across this way, these are rows, and going up and down are columns. Every little square is called a cell, and these things are actually, spreadsheets in general are really powerful tools. They were, in fact, the reason um, desktop computers were created in the first place. So in cell A1 right here, I'm going to type in uh, a descriptor for that column. I'll, I'll call it part number and then i'm going to have part number one two three four five six and seven i'm just hitting enter and then over here maybe the descriptor of this column will be description i'll hit enter and then in this cell part number one is a large triangle part number two is also a large triangle and i want to keep them separate parts here um, even though they're identical, and I'll show you how I won't have to, you know, type everything in twice. And then part number three is a small triangle. Part number four is a square. Five is, again, a second small triangle. Six is a parallelogram. I spelled that correctly. And seven is a medium triangle. And then over here, I'm going to find the length of the base of each part. And then the length of part number one, remember that the square is six inches by six inches. So the diagonal in here, the diagonal is six inches long, right? This is six by six. So the diagonal is six inches long. It is an isosceles right triangle, so the ratio of sides is a squared plus b squared equals 6 squared. I use the Pythagorean theorem, and I see the leg is 6 divided by root 2. So in here, I'm going to actually create that equation. I don't need to use a calculator or anything. It's all going to happen right in here. So I start any equation with an equal sign, and then I go 6 divided by. I know I want a square root of 2. I don't know what that symbol is, so I just start typing in that word, and it pops up, square root of 2, and I close my parentheses and hit enter, and it's 4.24. If I check it with the ruler, let's see, if I check it with the ruler, I can see it's about 4.2 or so. Okay, my next triangle is number two, it is the same as the one above. So I just hit equals, and then I want to select the cell above, C2, and hit enter, and it'll take the number from that one and place it in there. Okay, now on part number three, part number three, the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse on this part is half that six, so the hypotenuse is three units long. So, the base of that little triangle, the base of this little triangle would be just like the last one. If the hypotenuse is three, 
this is three divided by root two. So again, here I'm gonna hit equals three divided by square root of two. It gives me that value. And I know that three and five are the same. So I'm gonna jump down to part five here, hit equals, and it's gonna be equal to that cell, enter. Part number four is the square. So the length of that base, the length of that base is the same as the leg of the small triangle. So it is actually gonna be um, the same value as this as well. So I'll hit equals this cell, enter. Then to the parallelogram, parallelograms right here, number six. I can see the base of this is half the base of the six. So the base of the parallelogram is three, enter. And then I'm at the medium triangle right here and the base of that is also three, enter. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna select all of the cells for quite a ways over and I'm gonna put my values in the middle of the cell. So right here with alignment, I'm gonna center them. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my top row and I'm gonna make it bold. So now that tells me that it's actually not part of my spreadsheet, but rather just um, the titles over one. Okay, this right here is gonna be height. Enter, the large triangle height is gonna be equal to the base, because they're isosceles triangles. Um, will it, that be true for all of them? I could probably autofill all of them and then change the ones that aren't. So the small triangle, that's the same. The square, the height's the same. The parallelogram, the height is different. So the parallelogram, we're gonna have to change that. And the parallelogram's height, let's see if we can figure this out. The parallelogram's height is all the way across here. I don't know if you could see that. All the way from top to bottom is six. Half of that is three. And then this is half of that. So the height of the parallelogram here is one and a half. So I'm just gonna enter that 1.5. And the medium triangle is this one. Its base is three and its height is three. So we have that, create a column called area. So we'll type this in as area, enter. And area is gonna be base times height divided by two. So I'm gonna hit equals. I wanna take the existing number here. So I click on that cell. I'm gonna, actually, let me go back. I put an open parenthesis first. And then I click on that cell and then I multiply it by the height that's above the eight, it's the asterisk symbol. And then I click that, close my parentheses, base times height divided by two, and I hit enter, and that's the area. Um, I could auto fill again with all of these and then go back and edit them. So the small triangle that'll hold true, the area for a square is just base times height. So I'm gonna delete out the divided by two. Um, that's correct for my small triangle. That's correct for my medium triangle. And then this is a parallelogram. It's just base times height and I hit enter. And then to see if I did this correctly, I'm gonna click down here and I wanna add this whole column up. So I'm gonna go equals and then adding a whole column is a sum. So I just start typing that in sum and what do you want to sum? I want to sum all these values up. I'll close my parentheses and hit enter, and it equals 36. And that's what I was expecting, right? I was expecting six times six, 36, the sum area of all these parts to be equal to the sum or to the area of that whole square right there. If we want to do perimeter, now we could do um, the other sides. So I guess in the triangles, we'll call this the third side. And then for the parallelogram square, we'll have a fourth side, but we won't have that for the triangle. The, the third side of the large triangle is six. 
I could hit enter and type in another six or just say equals the cell above. Number three, part number three, its side, this third side length is three. Part number four, its third side length is also three. Part number five is that little triangle and it's gonna be the same three. Number six, a parallelogram. Let's see if we can figure it out from our parts here. So here's my tangram. So let me see if actually we're gonna have to do a few sides here. So as you could see right there, if I hold my small triangle up to my parallelogram, I could see this length is three and this length right here is three divided by root two. This is gonna be a little tricky on this perimeter for this one. So I'm gonna hit equals three divided by square root of two. And then the medium triangle third side equals three times square root two, enter. And then on my fourth side, there's not gonna be anything for that triangle or that triangle or that triangle. The third side of the square is equal to this. So I'm gonna hit equals that number, enter. And then the fourth side of the square is equal to that number, enter. The triangle here doesn't have a value. And then the parallelogram, I really only have one side. These are the same. These are the same. And that's it. Medium triangle won't have. So I'm actually not going to enter a part here. Okay. Now for perimeter, perimeter of a triangle is going to be equal to one side plus the other side plus the third side. So that's equal. Uh, I'm not going to autofill this because I want to make sure I stay on the same page. That perimeter, I'm going to grab that little dot in the bottom here and drag it down here. And it's actually going to, if I do that, it's going to take the cells below that and do the same thing. So I'm actually going to grab that equation and drag it down here as well. And then the perimeter for the square is going to be equal to one side times four, because I have four sides of 2.12. So I'm gonna go shift four equals, and the perimeter of the small tri triangle is gonna be equal to one side plus the next side plus the third side. Perimeter of the parallelogram is gonna be equal two times the length of the base plus, I'm going to put in parentheses here, two times this side here because I have two of those. Enter, and then the medium triangle is equal to the three sides added together. That plus that plus the third side, I hit equals. Those are all the values of our spreadsheet. I hope that worked. I mean, I hope that made sense. Um, if you liked the video, hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. And this is just an overview on how to build a spreadsheet. The key on spreadsheets um, is to kind of understand how the equations work. And that's really where they get the power and their usefulness. So thank you for watching. And comment below if you got any good ideas on this.